Right, now that we're over in um, ANSYS Workbench, so before you move into Fluent, you want to start off here in Workbench so you can do a bit of pre-processing. Uh, first thing you want to do is come up here and you want to save a project. Okay, I've already created one, um, even though there's nothing here, I just call it VidTut. Um, definitely save something there and keep it on a clean name like that. Do not have any spaces in any of your names in Fluent, okay? That's just banned, full stop. I don't go vid space tut. Don't name anything at all when you're working with these fluent packages with spaces in them. No files, nothing, right? You'll see why if you um, go down that route of putting spaces in there. So just keep everything like this. And if I wanted to differentiate these, I might go for a capital T on the tut there to start it off. Okay, that, that's just an important note. Um, you'll be wise to listen to it. Right, uh, when you want to start off, uh, you start off with a geometry block like this. Now, this is how easy it is to import something into ANSYS. You just go import geometry. You browse for the file. Um, let me get it here. There we go. So this is what I just made there previously. Remember, say we were making step files. Uh, this is a step file I just made there. So look at that guy. He's got a space on him there. That's not ideal. It's not ideal. Oh, yeah. All right. That's that's all it is. You literally just make a step file, import it in. It's not, not hard. Right. Once you make the geometry, um, that's pretty grand. There's not much more to do there. So you can save the project if you want. Um, there's nothing major here, just looking at these settings. All this is pretty fine. Um, you don't need to worry about it. But they're, the, yeah, it's grand. Right, so edit and space claim. That's the first thing you want to do. So we we'll let space claim load up there. And I'll explain to you how we go about um, creating a pre processed file for CFD. So here we go. Right. So hopefully I can move through this at decent pace. First thing you want to do when you come in here is you want to go over to prepare or repair and you want to check if there's anything here. So to be honest, there's nothing needs stitching, nothing. You should click on them all, just check. There probably is a few split edges. There isn't. Okay. Extra edges. There are a few of them. So just click tick, you'll get rid of them. There probably won't be any duplicates. No. And merge faces. Yeah, like you can check if there's any small faces there. Th there isn't any. So do check um, all of these. Um, it'll give me options to simplify as well. But that's that's pretty good there. So just always repair when you load a geometry in here. Make sure to get rid of any split edges or extra edges. Make sure it's a clean geometry. Grant, it is pretty clean. Yeah, it's a pretty clean uh, design. So once you do that, uh, this is what you want to do. So you want to come over here and click so when you before you bring this in here you want to locate the origin in a clean place i've located it at the as you can see furthest forward here right in the center and furthest down there so that's pretty obvious where i've located the origin so you definitely want to move your origin around in solidworks so that it's in a clean place like this right anyways that's enough on that so click x click Control to select y as well so i've selected both of them come up here and go into design and select a plane Lovely. I also want to select another plane. You'll see why in a second on X and Y. So that's going to be uh, for the bottom. All right. So you want to select two planes like that if you're doing some vehicle aerodynamics. So listen here. So we have um, we have two planes put in there. We're going to put another plane in here because we're going to want to create something called a body of influence. You see what that is in a minute around our wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the wheel surface. I'm going to click plane. But that plane is right on the surface of the wheel and I want it to be a little bit off. We'll see why later. So I click on it. I get the pull up there. Click on the plane. Sorry. Move. Click move. And just move it out. Now pull it like that. Just keep pulling it. And then press the space bar and it lets you select how far you want to move it out. So I want it to be 30 mil off the wall of the wheel. Grant, that's that. Now another thing I want to move is this bottom plane, which is perfectly on the bottom. I don't want that. I want it to be 10 millimeters off the ground. The reason I want it to be 10 millimeters off the ground is because when the weight of the vehicle is down on these wheels, they look a bit flat. So you don't want this perfect edge on the wheel. You want a little bit of a flat surface uh, for CFD modeling. Grant, and it's realistic too. No bother. Okay, so that's created there. They're the planes. We need them. 